Warrior football team had great expectations heading to Corvallis this weekend for the matchup against Oregon State. Despite being the underdog, the players and coaches were expecting to win, expecting big things out of Tyler Grunke, who was named the starting quarterback after leading the Warriors to a comeback win last week against Weber State, expecting a hungry Warriors defense to eat the Beavers' run game alive, but most of all, expecting to improve to 2-1 and one against an 0-2 Oregon State team. And Hawaii got out to a quick start, going 73 yards in six plays, ending with Grunke handing it off to Kelo Pilares, he scoots his way into the end zone for the 16-yard touchdown. Dan Kelly's point after was good. Hawaii on the board, 7-0. But on the very next series, Oregon State was able to even it up. Jaquise Rogers rumbles his way in with a three-yard touch. His first of two did it with 26 carries and 112 yards. And the first quarter ends with a tied up at seven. The second quarter and the rest of the game belonged to the Beavers. They made it look easy. Lyle Moy Vow to Shane Morales for the touchdown, put Oregon up. Oregon State up 14-7. They added to it with a little over four minutes left in the half. Moy Vow to Sammy Strotter, 15-yard hookup. And he had a bunch of yards to go with it. It was 21-7 at the half. Now, the second half looked a lot like the second quarter. Warriors offense just couldn't get anything going. Tyler Grunke would leave the game with what appeared to be an injury to his throwing hand. So in comes last week's starter, Inoki Funaki. His second pass of the game picked off. That eventually led to a touchdown. In fact, three in the third quarter and one more in the final frame. Oregon State wins its first game of the season while handing Hawaii its second loss of the year. Final score, 45-7. to Beavers with 485 yards on offense. Warriors dropped to one and two on the season. And if you're wondering, yes, that was former St. Louis quarterback and Wazoo star Jason Gesser working with the Fox crew calling the game. Warriors will have two weeks to think about this one. Got a bye week before opening conference play at home against San Jose State on the 27th. The last time the University of Hawaii Warriors went to the mainland, the East Coast, they were swamped by the Gators in a lopsided loss. This time they ended up on a different coast but with the same results. Hawaii scores first in this contest, marching downfield with ease before Kealoha Polaris runs it into the end zone from 16 yards out to give the Warriors a 7-0 advantage. But the Beavers would bounce back before the end of the first quarter, pushing their way in from the three-yard line, and this ball game's all tied up. Warrior fans were hoping it would be Tyler Gronke getting hot. Instead, it was Lyle Mulvale for Oregon State, one of his three touchdown passes for the day. This one putting the Beavers up 21 to 7. Gronke instead had a pair of interceptions, including this one. That chuck to start off the second half, and Oregon State runs away with the game, going on to win 45 to 7. Hawaii now drops to 1 and 2 for the season, and will next play at home against San Jose State at the end of the month. Your football team on the road in Corvallis, taking on Pac-10 member Oregon State today. UH looking to snap the Beavers' 24-game non-conference home winning streak. First quarter, no score until Damian Grad, running back Kealoha Polaris, finds an open road for the touchdown. Warriors take the 7-0 lead finished the first quarter tied at seven against an OSU squad that has outscored their opponents 123 to 24 over the last two seasons. How's it going, everybody? Despite a solid first quarter, Warriors dropped their sixth consecutive road game against a BCS opponent with the Hawaii offense struggling big time. We'll pick it back up in the second quarter, tied at seven when Beavers quarterback Lyle Moivau. He connects with Shane Morales on the 15-yard touchdown. After Hawaii's strong opening drive, Beavers defense pitched a shutout. Following the first of two Tyler Grunke interceptions on the day, Moivau makes Hawaii pay for it, hitting all Pac-10 wideout Sammy Strotter on the 15-yard touchdown. OSU takes a 21-7 lead at the break. Warrior offense held to just 211 yards on the day with 14 first downs. Beavers dominated, keeping the Warrior defense on the field for nearly 38 minutes. Exhausted D worked 86 snaps. Moivau, 268 yards passing with three touchdowns. Oregon State picks up victory number one of the 2008 season. Warriors fall to 1-2 and two on the year, 45 the Warrior football team hit the road again this weekend. This time, Hawaii traveled more than 2,500 miles to Corvallis, Oregon to face Oregon State. Unfortunately, the trip home is going to seem a lot longer. Mike Cherry joins us with more. That's right, Tim. OSU was hungry for their first win of the year, and UH turned out to be the main course. Oregon State was fired up to host their first game of the season, but Hawaii would silence the 45,000 plus fans in a hurry in the first quarter. Kealoha Polaris scores the first touchdown of the game from 16 yards out. That made it 7-0 UH, but Oregon State would quickly push back. They would score 45 unanswered points and hold Hawaii to just 211 yards of total offense. Oregon State defends their home turf 45-7.
I thought we did wear down, and, and it's, uh, it was really surprising because I told them before we went out there that, see, we worked really hard to get ready for the Florida game, uh, and uh, we're in great condition. I've conditioned this team more than I have any, any team I've ever coached, but uh, we played tired. In the second half, we were a tired football team. Now, Hawaii has a bye next week and will host San Jose State on the 27th. Coming up later in sports, we'll hear more from the Warriors and find out why, for the third straight week, Hawaii's starting quarterback was not able to finish the game. Mike Cherry, KG Good morning, everybody. The Warrior football team is not used to losing. After compiling a 23-4 record over the past two seasons, UH has already lost their second game of 2008, courtesy of Oregon State. After Oregon State dropped to 0-2, the Beavers came out with something to prove, but OSU would have trouble scoring on their first couple of drives. Their starting kicker missed two field goals early on, and that opened up the door for Hawaii to be the first ones to get on the board. Kaloha Pilars took most of the snaps as the Warriors running flat back, including this 16-yard scamper into the end zone. But from there, Oregon State would win the field position battle. In the first quarter alone, four of OSU's drives started at midfield or better, and that helped the Beavers string together 45 unanswered points. Jaquez Rogers ran over Hawaii for 110 yards and two scores. Meanwhile, quarterback Lao Moivau was deadly. He threw three scores and ran in one on his own to make the score 45 to 7. UH's QBs, they were not as successful. Tyler Grunke threw two of Hawaii's interceptions and had to leave the game in the third quarter with a banged up wrist and thumb. He is scheduled to have an MRI, MRI on Monday. Inoki Funaki finished out the final two quarters for UH. The Warriors will have two weeks to make corrections before their next game. UH has a bye this week and hosts Dick Tomey and San Jose State on the 27th. As far as what we do, I mean, we felt like we could re really beat these guys. I mean, I mean, honestly, we came in, our game plan was set. This is all, matter, this is, uh, all about executing and everything. We, we broke down some of the most simplest stuff. Like I said, like special teams we broke down, a couple of offensive plays we broke down. Tyler, when did you exactly suffer the injury? Um, I suffered like a minor wrist injury in the first half, and then I got I hit it on a helmet in the second half, and I, I just knew I, I couldn't grip anything. I couldn't even shake somebody's hand. And uh, I just knew then I couldn't grip a football or throw it, so I was I had to sit out. So what is going on with Hawaii's offense over their last three games against Division I single-A opponents? Hawaii's offense has hit a wall. UH has been outscored 142 to 27. That's an average loss of 38 points per game. And don't forget to get a complete recap of this week's game and a preview of what's next for Hawaii. Tune in tomorrow night to the Coach Mac Show. That's at 10:35.